What's up everybody, Moto6 Sandy here, and today I'm doing a review on the O'Neill Rider Boot. A lot of you have been asking me to do a review on this thing to see if it's a hit or miss, and if this boot is really is the actual boot you should buy for a bang for your buck. So we're going to find out if this boot is really worth the buy, and if this is something that you should really consider investing in. This is another Moto6 review. Let's get started. So everybody, what we have in front of us today is the O'Neill Riding Boot. O'Neill has been around for a little while now and they have made some awesome uh, motocross boots, riding boots that you can wear uh, on your daily motorcycle travels. And uh, what we have in front of us today is the Rider Boot. There's two different boots that I really like the best and that's this one and then there's another one called the Element Boot. The Element Boot is just a little bit more chunkier, it's kind of beefy a little bit and that's the only reason why I didn't got that boot because I just didn't feel comfortable uh, wearing that boot and riding that with my motorcycle. But anyway, let's go ahead and get down to the actual review on this particular boot. What we have in front of us is actual synthetic leather. Um, is it has been reinforced with a whole entire rubber sole. It's been stitched. So if anything ever happens to the sole, you can always get a brand new sole from O'Neill and have it restitched to the boot. It also has a reinforced steel toe. Uh, and I love that the fact that it has a, a reinforced steel toe just in case if you ever going around the twisties and your actual your tip of your boot or the tip of your foot actually kind of scrapes the road that's what this is here for this is here to protect those toes to make sure that nothing happens to you while you're riding when you're going on the twisties or any curvy roads like that another great thing about the boot is that it has these awesome um, flexible uh, flexible straps here that you can easily buckle in and out. I have them loose right now because I want to show you exactly how you can maneuver them around and get your foot to put them in. Um, this boot comes in many different sizes. What I have right now is a size 12. The European size is a 46. Um, and the, uh, the, the whole entire boot itself is basically built to last for a very, very, very long time. Uh, it's made for motocross and it's made for daily motorcycle riding. And I use this boot for daily motorcycle riding. As you can see, it has all this awesome um, corrosion uh, corrosion buildup. Well, I wouldn't say buildup, but it has a corrosion uh, protectant all around the boot. Uh, that way, because you know, eventually you're going to have to use this boot to shift around, to do a whole bunch of type of stuff uh, on your bike. You know, you have to move your foot around on your foot pegs. Sometimes you have to get comfortable. And that's what all of this protectant right here is for. Thank God I got some sunlight so I can show you guys exactly all the parts from the boots here. This right here is basically your corrosion protectant, uh, just in case if you're, you know, you got your, this is obviously the right foot of the boot. So this right here is going to be protecting against like, you know, the foot peg on the right hand side of your bike. Uh, if you're like uh, pressing down on your on your, your, your rear brakes and you might scuff up the side of the boots, that's there to protect it. Another awesome thing about this boot is that it has a heat resistance, all synthetic leather mixed with a little bit of suede, but it has like a heat resistance pad right here. Because sometimes when you ride, the, um, the engine cover and everything gets a little hot right there. Sometimes the clutch gets a little hot and you have that heat that's always right there on the calf of your leg. I guess that's Zordon calling me. <laughs> you always have that heat that's right on the on the right side of your uh, on the right side of your calf and it's always it just makes your makes your leg feel so hot it makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes. So that's why you have this synthetic piece right here on the boot to help you against that heat so this is going to be the heat resistant to keep it out now now another thing i'm going to talk about real quick is the scraps i remember i was telling you guys about the scrap these things are very very flexible and they're easy you don't ever have to worry about these things coming loose in the mud or anything at all um i love the fact that you can easily adjust these things you can simply hold it out pull it if you may you can push back in to readjust or you can simply pull it out if you want to just like that and it comes out just a little bit and each of them do this so you can push in push out however you want to do bring them out and adjust them and all you have to do is just simply take these pieces right here slip them into the slot just like that and then you just simply pull back into place and for one strap it does the simple easy thing just for the other straps also on the boot and um these will hold up very well in the mud. It'll hold up very well in the rain. You don't have to worry about any problems uh, with this boot at all. Now, 
while I open this back up, I also want to show you the, uh, the inside of the boot. So let's go ahead and get these open. Strap there. You can tell right here on the inside of the boot, you have plenty of room. I mean plenty of room. You have the gator and everything right there to kind of lock your foot in and everything else. This right here is not going to tear at all. It's stitched very nicely. Um, and it's very, very comfortable when you have so much room on the inside. I can stick my whole hand in there, my whole fist really. And um, it has a whole entire, a whole bunch of room in there. So there's, there's so much maneuver and comfortability once you break these boots in. So you don't have to worry about, um, you don't have to worry about any stiffness or any room like that once you break the boots in. Now, now that's another thing I also want to talk to you about is breaking the boots in. How do you break in motocross boots or how do you break in motorcycle boots? Well, here's the thing. Um, these boots, when you first get them, they're very, very stiff. And that's with any motorcycle boot you get. I don't care if it's the, the ones that come all the way up to your knee, if it's just the ones that come to your ankle. Any motorcycle boot is always going to be stiff, especially the sole, especially anywhere around the, the leather that still needs to flex. A lot of that stuff is very stiff. And a technique that I learned uh, over the years, and a couple of people on YouTube have um, a couple of videos on how to stretch your motorcycle boots, you can simply just put your hand on the inside of your boot, just like this, right? Sit it on your lap, and all you have to do is just simply bend backwards just a little bit, and you can see how easily that moves. Like right now, this boot has been flexed out pretty well, so I can easily do this with just a little bit of muscle. I don't have to do too much. So that's the great uh, the great thing about having this boot like this. Um, it's uh, on a scale one to 10, I give this boot a, 8.5 and I gotta say that is pretty good for a boot like this and like I said it's an entry-level boot um, it costs you can get this thing for about hundred and nine dollars on the O'Neill website or on Amazon and um, it's, it's a very very great boot to have you also have these awesome corrosion pieces right here on the front boot so just in case uh, let me just show you the other foot instead how about that you normally use your left foot for gear shifting. So you have this nice corrosion protectant right here on the front boot uh, for when you're up shifting and down shifting on your gears. You don't have to worry about that wear and tear on the front end of your boot. A lot of people hate that on their regular shoes. Some people ride their tennis shoes uh, on their motorcycles or um, just regular like slippers, you know. I mean, hey, we got some squids out there, right? And some of them, you know, <laughs> some of them tend to mess up their shoes every now and then, and you know, they, they, they hate it afterwards. So that's why O'Neill has come up with this awesome protectant right here. It's a corrosion protectant against your um, against your uh, your foot uh, your foot pegs and your uh, your gear shifter, so you don't have to worry about any scuffs or anything like that coming on your boots, and that's great to have. And just like the other boot, it's the same method. If you want to stretch them out, just simply put your hand in and just flex them. And you can see how easily that flexes very easily. When I first got these with the scraps off like this, it was very hard to flex. And then eventually it got to the point where I can just flex these things all day. And now I can ride with these boots really with no problem. Um, but yeah, guys, that is the O'Neill riding boots. I hope y'all guys enjoyed it. Um, if y'all guys enjoyed what y'all saw on this video, just go on my Facebook page or my YouTube page, subscribe, like, do whatever y'all guys can to uh, to keep the channel going. Uh, I really enjoy doing this, uh, you know, these awesome reviews for you guys, and um, I intend to do more for you. So make sure y'all guys subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, comment, and share all my video content, and uh, let everybody know about the Moto Six Sanity channel. Also, you can go on Facebook and like my official Facebook page, Moto Six Sanity. Or you can go on Twitter at Moto6 Sanity and like my official page where you will be updated on all of my moto vlogs and reviews. You will be the first the first ones to actually know uh, when I'm uploading a video or when I'm posting a video on YouTube. Also, I have a Patreon account. Patreon is probably one of the best um, video media websites you can have uh, to donate your, uh, well I would say, well I wouldn't say donate, but to actually really uh, show your talents to the world uh, in, 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 in a uh, exchange of giving uh, small uh, donations to the creator. So I have a uh, Patreon account. So if you guys would go on Patreon and become a patron to my page and donate to as little as a dollar to three dollars to five dollars towards my Patreon account. And this will help 
this will honestly help my Moto 6 Sandy channel become bigger and also better video content for you guys so I can keep the channel going and make sure I keep you guys satisfied and entertained throughout this upcoming year and hopefully uh, beyond the future as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button, like button, comment and share. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. This is Moto 6 Sanity signing off. Catch you next time.